Hello again, Star Wars and Unboxing fans. Welcome to another episode of Darth Tuba Star Wars Unboxing Show. I'm your host, Darth Tuba, with another one of these awesome Star Wars Culture Fly subscription boxes. All right, now, uh, the first one of these that we did a while back was a Hoth subscription box, and it came with a bunch of neat items. Subscription boxes, for, don't, for those who don't know, are essentially items that you you know with, uh, that, that all have a certain theme and of course in this case it's star wars that uh you subscribe to for the course over the course of a year it could be every month it could be every couple of months i think this runs every quarter i think it's like a quarterly thing so the first one that i took part in was a hoth one and it was a nice hoth jacket it was, a, it was usually one higher end higher end item they technically like to say that the value of the contents tends to be more or even double what you pay for the subscription okay but I think in some of those cases it it there's a reason for that it comes down to some items are um, maybe on sale like a bigger higher end more expensive item is on sale and then the other items aren't as expensive and it kind of adds up but whatever it um, this culture fly does a really cool thing because in addition to just you know most companies can just send a box these guys send this really cool themed box so it's a theme within a theme it's a star wars themed box but it's more specifically geared towards yoda and i believe it's the empire strikes back but you can see the whole around of the box is kind of like a dagobah kind of scene as another image of yoda in the back so it's a pretty cool pretty cool setup all right now i'm not a big fan of uh, subscription boxes only because these days I am kind of getting into the less and less of the um, ancillary collecting items okay um, you know I've actually been going through my collection and have been working on thinning it out uh, actually uh, but every know every so often I come across something uh, and, and I will be a very full disclosure um, this is not something sent to me you know by the company I made the purchase what I didn't realize was I purchased the Hoth one not realizing that I had also purchased the subscription. It's okay, I don't mind. I can cancel it if I want, and maybe I will, maybe I won't, I don't know. It, it, it's for, for the channel, it's kind of fun to have, and, and you can decide for yourself if this is something that you want to add. I love the box art. The only downside is that it's box art. I don't know what else I'm gonna do with it. I mean, to put the box on display, I guess you could do that. You can maybe cut out the front and just use that. This is a great, um, this is an awesome image that is not as well known. I think it's Ralph McQuarrie art. I'm trying to see if I see his uh, initials. but Or it could be, if it's not actual Ralph McQuarrie art, it could be based on Ralph McQuarrie art. Um, but I just like, I've seen that, that idea of him, of Yoda with his little quill pen at his little stone desk uh, in the past. So, what? Enough talk. Let's get it open. All right. So, <laughs> right out of the gate, what do we have here? Well, we have a baseball cap. We have a Yoda baseball cap. Okay, kind of cool. It's got the, you know, license officially. This is all officially licensed items. Okay, it's um pretty thin. It's got a kind of a small setup with it, but it's got a nice Dagobah, um, you know, patch patchwork on it. So, not bad. Not bad. Um, I wouldn't say it's... Uh, by itself worth it but it's you know it's very it probably would work well in the summer i know a lot of people there's different types of hat it isn't very um boxy you know it's kind of very kind of small okay but if you like your hats there you go we got a culture fly sticker okay obviously this is the brand name it also includes a little postcard style or photo of the the yoda art and also what's included on the back of it Okay, but let's, rather than go through it, let's just show it. We have the main item would be the shirt, or among the main items is the shirt. Master Yoda, Jedi Training Academy, do or do not, there is no try. Dagobah system, outer rim territories. Okay, so it's a nice, you know, you ask your size. So there's a nice XL. I'll add that to the t-shirt pile. <laughs> Okay, and then we have this kind of nifty shadow box, which is a shadow art box, shadow art box, which is basically just a kind of a a box that has uh, some of the, the the Yoda image on the back. Let me uh, you know, to avoid glare here. 
Let me see if I can get this thing open so that you can get a better view of it. So basically, ooh, there's a little bit of a scratch there. It might just be plastic, but you can see there, you got the cool art there, and then you can open this up, and you can actually, I don't know, I guess you could put something in here. Um, it's got a little magnet magnet seal on it. I kind of feel like I'd want to put like a like an, a Yoda and Luke action figure. I think I have some up here that I might consider adding to this, just to put it on display like this. It's kind of a cool thing. So there is that. Then we have... Oh my, oh my goodness. We have what is essentially, ooh, I like the thing. We have lightsaber chopsticks, okay? So uh, it's an interesting thing. I would not have expected that uh, right away. Um, I have kind of become a lightsaber chopstick aficionado. And I'll tell you why, because in my main profession, I am an, actually a high school band and orchestra director. And for our pit orchestra, for the, our musical, I actually conduct with lightsaber chopsticks. Why? Because the ones I have light up. And they're not, I had, I had some licensed light up lightsaber chopsticks by Lucasfilm, and they were very good. But I had found uh, on Etsy, somebody who was making kind of unlicensed ones that actually lit brighter and therefore looked better so I ended up using those now the issue I have with these look at the size of that hilt if that if we're doing it in truth the hilt should be really only like this big but if it's this big that means the chopstick should be this long but it's okay I do enjoy the holster I'm not exactly sure what the arabesh is but you know Put them in there okay a lot of these things that's another thing i i do end up kind of keeping them in the box so but i think i know why we have the box i think we have what is a bento box okay it's like a rebel alliance bento box i'm not going to open it i don't think but essentially for those who don't know bento box is what you would put um kind of a rice dish things that you would use for your chopsticks okay and you can and they're kind of little compartments that stack on each other so you can put different things in there and then just kind of take it apart. And that's kind of like the equivalent of a lunchbox. So it's very nice. Not something I'm probably going to use too much of. So uh, then we have, okay, this is, an, this is a really, really cool and interesting pin design. Okay. You've got uh, a, this is not a Disney pin. This is a culture fly pin. So you have Yoda looking at the, X-Wing and you can see it, you can actually make it rise up, okay, like he was pulling it out of the water. So, kind of a cool thing. What else we got? Um, ooh, a nice Yoda the Jedi Master um, bookmark. It's a little thicker. Now, the interesting thing, I will say this about these. I remember back in the day that they had, back in the Return of the Jedi days, they actually released a whole bunch of kind of bookmarks very similar art very similar to this so uh, this is kind of a throwback to me and they had all the different characters and they were really kind of elaborate so i kind of enjoyed that so that's a cool little setup with that and last but not least this is a backpack hmm. uh, oh ho, ho, ho. Uh -huh. you are you kidding me are you kidding me that is awesome and then you can just zip it back up here i gotta get the little lid here shut oh my god all right that's the best part of this whole thing it's very thin okay i would not uh recommend you use this for any heavy duty uh, things but if you're just doing quick traveling look at that i mean look at that Come on, that's really cool, all right? So I think what I'm gonna actually do with this is I'm actually gonna put, for now, I'm gonna put my pin, my bookmark, my bento kit, my lightsabers in the bag, and I don't think I'm gonna keep the box because the box even has the, the card art on it as well, so I'm gonna keep the card in here as well. I love it. Again, 
it's not a very expensive. This is not something that I would put, I would not carry your laptop in this. <laughs> okay. It is, but, but if you just need a quick plate, you know, quick bag, I will say this, you know, sometimes the case that you carry something in can be so, so heavy that it can get in the way. But this is definitely a, a good, you know, carry all for, you know, short trips, that kind of a thing. So overall, really not so bad. Okay. So that's fantastic. So it's a great buy. I can't remember the exact price of it. I think it was like 35. Okay. You can check on culturefly.com and check it out again. They did not uh, sponsor this video. I just checked it out. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification button. Check me out on Instagram or Twitter, Darth Tuba. Okay. As well as uh, Darth Tuba Star Wars Unboxing page on Facebook and the War of the Stars podcast. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, may the force and the toys and the subscription boxes 